Slippage is probably one of the most common reasons why transactions fail. In this video, we're going to explain what slippage is, how to set it up, what the best value is, and most importantly, how to set it up in Odin. Slippage refers to the difference between the expected price of an order and the price at which the order actually executes. For example, let's say we set a 20% slippage and want to buy a token priced at $10. If the order executes above $12, our slippage limit will be exceeded, resulting in an error like this one. Too much SOL required to buy the given amount of tokens, and the transaction will fail. Therefore, you need to be cautious about the slippage amount you set. But you might be wondering, how big or small should the slippage be? Well, it really depends on the token's liquidity. A token with very low liquidity will experience significant price impacts when a buy or sell order is triggered. On the other hand, a token with higher liquidity will have a lower price impact when transactions are submitted. As you can see in this chart, set to a one-second time frame, after a specific wallet purchased the token, the market cap increased from $24,000 to $40,000. Keep in mind that OdinBot calculates the token price from the most recent on-chain updates, then includes your slippage tolerance when setting up the transaction. If later trades push the price above your slippage limit before the transaction settles, the trade will fail. For a token with higher liquidity and, consequently, a higher market cap, e.g. $400,000 in liquidity, the price impact of a transaction will be much smaller. For instance, a purchase might cause a 5% or 3% price impact, respectively. In such cases, a slippage setting of 5% to 10% should suffice. To set up slippage in Odin, navigate to the Control tab, where you'll find the Pump Fund Slippage option. Note that this setting only applies to Pump Fund tokens, and its default value is 50%. For tokens outside the pump fund, such as radium, slippage is calculated based on your mirror wallet. This means the slippage is determined by the price at which your mirror wallet purchased the token. If you're wondering whether there's a specific slippage value that guarantees optimal gains, the answer is no. Ideally, you should set slippage between 5% and 15% for tokens near the bonding curve and higher slippage for tokens farther away from it. Once again, there's no perfect number. It all depends on your strategy. However, be cautious as an inappropriate slippage setting could result in losses even if the mirror wallet made a profit.